Last week, the Santa Fe school shooter was apprehended alive. When he was arrested, he was armed. He had just killed nine students and one teacher. And it made me think of something I've said before, but bears repeating. Armed white mass shooters get better treatment from the police than black people do for just existing. Here's Stefan Clark in his grandmother's backyard. He was shot 20 times for holding up an iPhone. Then Clark drops to his hands and knees. They continue to fire. Here's the Waffle House shooter, fully armed, apprehended without incident. After slaying four people, he'll be able to take advantage of the legal system and have a fair trial, something that many black suspects and innocent black people don't have access to, don't have the privilege for. Here's Deontay Yarber, unarmed, shot 10 times by the police as he was driving through a Walmart parking lot. The officer who shot him was previously fired from another precinct for his racism. Here's the white supremacist church shooter, getting treated to Burger King after killing killing nine people. We hear this over and over again in the media, and there's a reason for it. Here's the Parkland school shooter who killed 17 people. He was able to walk out of the school and go to Walmart after killing 17 of his classmates and teachers. Now, unlike some people, I'm not asking to treat these white shooters worse. That's counterproductive. It's just very obvious to me that the police are capable of de-escalation during apprehension, even in extremely high pressure circumstances where the suspect is armed and clearly a threat. Threat. Police officers routinely demonstrate their capacity for non-violent apprehension in high-profile cases including white suspects, including white shooters, and even including white supremacists. Even in cases where they apprehend cop killers, as long as they're white. So all I'm asking is to treat black suspects with the same dignity and respect police are obviously capable of, without criticizing movements that seek to hold them accountable, without harboring hatred for those you're supposed to protect. I'm Hassan Piker, and if you think that this is a very obvious hypocrisy please share this video with your friends please don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comment section below and please don't forget to join tyt membership for more videos like this and follow my instagram at asandi piker and twitter at asan the hun and this has been the breakdown